Right everyone, Web Collector here. Right, I thought I'd do a video on self-defence sticks and other sort of items that you can legally carry that in an emergency, life-threatening situation you could defend yourself with. I'm going to have to do a quick disclaimer quickly because if I don't do this I'll have to keep answering this question multiple times. So, in the UK you can't actually legally carry anything for self-defence. Because if you say you're carrying an item for self-defence, it is then deemed an offensive weapon and then you can get arrested for it and convicted of a crime. But you can carry legal items that are perfectly acceptable to carry because they are just a walking stick or a, or a torch or something like that, that then can be used to defend yourself in a life-threatening situation. Right, so there's the disclaimer. So now I'll get on to some of the items that I can sort of recommend to you and some of the stuff that's available. Some of this stuff you can buy, some of it you can make yourself and I have videos showing how to make these items and other videos of where to get them. I'll go straight on to one of my recent walking sticks that I made. So this is a deputy's yard stick made from a hoe handle, really heavy duty, and it's just a walking stick, so totally legal to carry. But in a life-threatening situation, you could defend yourself pretty well with this. So with these hoe handles, you can make multiple length sticks. Obviously the yard stick is a yard. That's what it's designed as the length. It has markings for one foot mark, two foot mark there, and this was used by deputies in mines, basically. There's a video for this if you want to see how to make it. And if I did any tests with it, you'll see the tests as well. But that would make a very formidable um, self-defense item, I think, if you needed to use it. So that's the deputy's yardstick. A similar one made out of a hoe handle as well is this nice decorative spiral pattern walking stick. This one has a lanyard so if you were carrying it and had to use it it couldn't be taken off you. Metal ferrule on the end adds a bit of weight, adds a bit of strength, stops the wood splitting. There's a video for that as well if you want to see how to make one of those. And all of these items are really easy to make very basic tools um, and inexpensive materials. I do not make anything with complicated tools and expensive materials because I can't afford to do it. That one would probably cost you maybe 15 quid at most if you bought all the parts for it. And again, the good thing with all of these if you're making them homemade, you can make them the colour that you want, the length you want, because obviously we're all different heights. Um, you can get larger, this is probably the biggest hoe handle you can get, but you can get thinner ones as well if you don't want it so heavy duty. I might as well show you the third hoe handle one, so this was another hoe handle. The two I just showed you were solid beech. This one is solid, I think it was mango wood. Yeah, quite a nice, quite a nice grained wood. Again, very similar to the one I showed you there. This one was based off of the cold steel walkabout. You shape the hoe handle head so it becomes a sort of ball. Lanyard again, I'd always recommend a lanyard. And metal ferrule at the end. And you can make it any height you like. A very basic stick would just be a very simple cane or or staff. This one has metal ends, but you don't need to do that. You could do this any height, you could have this right up to here if you wanted to. Mine comes up to about just there. That is literally just a branch and it's not even perfectly straight, but will still do the job and still give you a decent bit of reach if you needed it. And again, perfectly legal to carry, because it is just a walking aid. This is another similar one to the one I just showed you, made from a 
branch, metal ferrule on the end, but this one just has a more decorative top. So this is just shaped out of wood with a plumbing fixture as a nice collar there. Again, can be made to any length. No, I quite like that one. I like all of these to be honest, but um, yeah. But that, these could be any colour. Umbrellas, quite a good um, item to give you a bit of reach if you need it. This one is actually the security umbrella, so it's a heavy duty self defence umbrella. You can still purchase these online. Comes with a case that you can carry almost like a backpack on your back. But these are extremely durable. The shaft of this, I can't remember what the material is, but it is extremely strong. Yeah, metal ferrule on the end, very strong handle, extremely durable. Something you could potentially walk around with is a, this is a golf club with the head cut off. Just about the right height for a walking stick, obviously you can't see this, but it comes up to about my hip. And uh, it's up to you what you think of this one. I'm not sure whether this would be, this would draw attention or not. Um, but certainly could be used as a walking aid. Little metal ferrule on the end. And lastly for the longer stuff I have, this is a retractable walking stick so you can get similar things to this NHS walking sticks but they don't retract as small as this one will so what you'd need to do is get yourself a NHS walking stick and just modify it slightly I've got a video showing you how to do this so this one can extend to above my hip but the best part about it is it can retract down to a very nice small size so smaller than my arm which your standard one won't do but it doesn't take much to just adjust these it's just basically you take the clip put it further at the end and you make a different hole so it will extend even deeper in but yeah that's one of my favorites at very very small so this could be carried in a backpack if you needed it to more of a hiking stick this one has been reinforced with some hardwood inside so it's even doesn't really need it but it just adds extra strength and a little bit of weight um, yeah really good size that one but does extend to a full-size walking stick this is one of my own designs heavy-duty selfie stick so this was just something I wanted I wanted a good heavy-duty um, <laughs> selfie stick for when I went down the woods so what I designed was just a nice hardwood handle, metal ferrules on each end, stop it splitting, and then you've got the camera attachment there. You could walk around with the camera, lanyard so you don't drop it. This was just a little quick thing just because I wanted a decent selfie stick for walking around the woods. Yeah, you could make one of those. And I put that on so that no one could ever say it wasn't what it was. So yeah, definitely a selfie stick. So lastly, I'll just get onto a couple of torches that you can buy. Again, it'll give you a little bit of extra reach and that are totally legal to carry. So always mag lights. Mag lights are really good, but you can get some other lights similar to mag lights. I'd recommend torches anyway. Any kind of torch that's reasonably powerful with a strobe is a great item to carry. For multiple reasons you can see where you're going strobe people can't s see anything once you've strobed someone this is the standard i think 2d cell mag light this is a modified one but um this is the size you would get they don't traditionally have a lanyard and they don't traditionally have a switch on the back as i say mine's modified but that's the size so this is the smaller version you can get longer ones i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend the 6d the problem is it's massive and it is really big and really heavy. It's a bit too big really. Um, get one of these, get an LED upgrade for it. And I have videos showing you how to add a decent lanyard as well. 
so you can put the torch in your hand so you can use the torch but you can just drop it if you need to use both your hands this is another modified mag light again with a lanyard on just involves drilling a couple of holes putting the power cord through tying a knot still works perfectly fine the knot just sits in where the spring is this one has multiple settings and again it's a modified one though but yeah this one you turn it on there turn that round charge it there and it's powered by a 18650 battery and then lastly a good alternative to the mag light are these flashlights i think you can get these in various models this is the vast fire version takes i can't remember the batteries but they're bigger than there's two two of them in there and they're bigger than an 18650 battery i've modified this one as well i've added a lanyard to this by drilling a hole again putting power cord through and then tying a knot and the knot again sits within the spring this one did zoom in and out but i didn't really like the feature because if you ever did have to use it the head would keep shooting back and forward so i drilled a hole and added a little screw in there so you can tighten it to stop this moving back and forward i just prefer it that way so this one has multiple features um, a side light, strobe, goes red, it can actually be used as a power bank. But again, just gives you a nice bit of weight and reach if you need it. And it is totally legal because it's just a torch. None of the items I show you are glass of weapons unless you go about saying you're carrying them for self-defense just remember that all of these items are just walking sticks umbrellas torches etc that that's the most important bit but if someone's threatening your life it'll make it you know could make a difference so there you go some of the walking sticks and longer reach items you can use for self-defense if need be Hope you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it, comment, share it if you like, don't forget to subscribe if you like these kind of videos. Right, hope you enjoyed it, see you later.